In this video, I'm going to show you how to first download a song from Song Select for use on the projector up front, and then import that song into OpenLP so we can get it ready to display. First of all, just open up any web browser, Google Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, any of them will work. Go ahead and open that up, and then type in songselect.com. Once here, go ahead and click on Sign In. And then using the username and password you've been provided, type that in, you'll be able to log in. My username is 1133633, and I'm not telling you my password. All right, we're in. So from here, all you have to do is simply type in this search field right here, the name of the song, or you can even type in the author or some combination thereof and it'll show you a list of songs matching those results. So we're going to go ahead and type in Rock of Ages, just for example. Just type in Rock of Ages, click search. And as you can see when we do that, there's a gazillion songs named Rock of Ages or some variant of that. Now typically Carolyn will either provide a CCLI number for that song, or she'll provide the author name or something to that effect so you can narrow this down and be sure you're downloading the right one so if there's any doubt you can click on any of the songs and view the lyrics uh, to make sure you're getting the right one I'm gonna assume that this public domain was the right one because I know Rock of Ages is an old song and just for speed sake so all you do it once you have the right song just under the lyrics column click the icon view lyrics all right and here's our song. It looks right. Rock of Ages cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Once we have the song, we verify it's correct. Highlight download and click USR file. Let me try that again. All right. And as you can see down here on the bottom left, it has downloaded. That's the way Chrome works. If you're using a different web browser it may be a different way that it shows up oops ignore that but once that song has downloaded we go into OpenLP click file highlight import click song it says welcome click next and under format be sure that it is set to CCLI slash song select then we're going to click Add Files, and we're going to look for Rock of Ages. I have a little quick search up here, so I'll just do it the easy way. And once we have that, we click it, click Open, and that's going to import, get it to our import list here. Now, when I was back on this Add Files window, if I had numerous songs available, I'll pull up so you can see what I'm talking about. Say I wanted to download Rock of Ages. How can I keep from singing in the heart of worship? All I would need to do is click one of them, then hold down Control, the Control key on your keyboard, and then left click the rest of the songs you want. So then I can click. If I were to click Open on all of those, it would then send into this import screen all three songs at once rather than having to do all this for each song. But I only want Rock of Ages for now, so I'm going to click Cancel. I have the song here. I'm going to click Next. As you can see, it takes just a fraction of a second to import. It's done. I'll click Finish. And then if I go up here into Rock of Ages, there it is. Oh, I already had that one, but that's okay. Now, we're not finished yet. First of all, we need to right-click this and edit it to ensure that the song is going to display in the right order. By default, when songs are imported from Song Select, OpenLP will typically display the chorus first and then just the list of verses. It doesn't do verse, chorus, verse, chorus as we need for when we're singing the song. So again, uh, Carolyn or whomever else is leading music for that day, they will be able to give you a verse and chorus order to make sure the song is in the right order. So what the choir and is singing and Carolyn is playing matches what is on the screen. So as you can see, there's a left tab, and that shows 
th those headers, that's verse 1, verse 2, verse 3, verse 4. Now this is an easy song, there aren't any choruses. If there were choruses, we it would have C1 here. But all we need to do is go down here under the verse order and type in the order we want. For instance, say we skip verse 3. We don't do nothing in my hand I bring. So we skip that one. I'm going to just type in verse 1, verse 2, and verse 4. Once I'm sure my verse order is correct, I can click save. But something else that frequently comes up, uh, for whatever reason, we've traditionally sang a song with slightly different lyrics that are than are what are on CCLI's website. If that's the case, we just double click on the one that we need to change. Let's say instead of uh, let me hide myself in thee, it says let for instance, if we were to sing, let me hide myself in you, all you do is just double click on the one you need to change. Go in there and highlight what needs to be changed. Let me hide myself in you. Click save. Click save again. And then if we go and double click and view this song again, Rock of Ages, Cleft for Me, Let Me Hide Myself in You. There it is. All done, all set up in the correct order. As you can see, it skipped verse 3. So we're good to go. That's all for now. And as always, thank you so much for serving in this ministry and growing in this ministry. God bless.